So I have had people ask me how to load textures onto custom imported models in DAS Studio, and that is what this video is going to be about. This is using DAS 4.85 Pro, and for demonstration purposes, we are going to use Super Smash Bros. 4, Samus Aran's hair, exported as an OBJ. So to begin, you go File, Import, and then you simply load your OBJ, use default settings, and you will immediately find there is nothing showing up. So the solution to this is on the right hand side, you go to the scene tab and select your OBJ. And then over on the left side, using Actors Wardrobe and Props Editor tab, under the currently used, you select your OBJ and you go to Opacity Strength and set it to 100%. From here, you can see the mesh has loaded and it has no textures. And so we're going to start by loading the diffuse texture by coming over to Diffuse Color, hit Browse, and you select your texture. So now the texture is loaded, but you'll see that the opacity is not loaded correctly. So the intuitive obvious solution to this is that you would simply load the texture, which has the alpha channel, which I'm about to display here. If you go view alpha channel, you'll see that it has an alpha channel. And so the intuitive solution is you simply load that into your opacity and use the alpha channel. However, if you find yourself doing that by going to the opacity strength, going to browse and selecting said, you'll see that it does not load correctly, disregarding the drawing errors, making the strange triangles. You will see that the transparency has not actually loaded and it is still simply just drawing the full mesh. The correct solution to this is to load your texture in an image editing program. I'm using PaintShop Pro, but Photoshop or uh, GIMP can be used just the same. And then you go and you load out your mask as a separate image. And then you save this as a opacity mask. I'm going to simply name it Samus Hair Opac for opacity. And then you come back to Daz and you instead of the diffuse, you instead load the opacity map. And you'll see that the textures load correctly. You will see that the uh, drawing errors with all the triangles are still prevalent. However, when you properly render through Daz, you will find that that issue is resolved. I am not going to do that because I have tried that on a previous recording of this video and I ended up locking down my computer so hard that I actually had to hard reset it. So I'm not going to do that. That's also why I am talking rather quickly and incredibly formally because I've recorded this video seven times now, spent nearly 20 minutes on it. And I'm quite frankly getting tired of it. But that is how you load materials. If you render out of DAZ, if DAZ is your actual platform, this will render correctly. It's only in the preview window that it has these strange drawing artifacts. I hope that you found this helpful, and until next time.